Gentlemen, if you are of legal drinking age, I've got a question for you. What is your drink of choice? Because just like the clothing you wear or the hairstyle you rock, your beverage of choice is telling a story about you. The way I see it, ladies drink wine, guys drink beer, but gentlemen, drink whiskey. Now whiskey is very similar to my videos. It's an acquired taste, but once you get it, oh! Delicious. Today, gentlemen, it is going down because I have teamed up with my boys over at Glen Fittick to bring you how to drink whiskey like a gentleman. All right, now, before we get into the five tips, I want to quickly tell you how I discovered whiskey. I used to be a super big beer drinker. Every weekend, I was putting down some light beer. I wasn't even into, like, cool craft beers. It was, like, light stuff. Anyway, um, I used to chew tobacco, a nasty habit that I picked up at the West Virginia University. University. Um, decided to quit and I knew that I needed to cut out alcohol because alcohol for me was a trigger. So for six months, bang, no alcohol. But during this time, I discovered the series on Netflix, Mad Men. Every damn episode, they're sipping on what looked like this. I didn't know what it was, come to find out it was whiskey. And so, for some reason, I started to crave it. I had really never tasted it before, but I decided, hey, this is something I might like. First time I tried it, I was like, gee. Second time I tried it, I'm like, hmm. Third time I was like, yeah, I could get used to this. One of the reasons that I love whiskey so much is that you don't get that bloated, nasty, belchy feeling like you do when you drink a bunch of beer. And it's something that you can sip on. It's not something that you pound, it's something that you enjoy. So now, the only thing I drink is bourbon and Scott. So now, gentlemen, without any further ado, let's talk whiskey drinking tips. Tip number one is pick your whiskey wisely. So whiskey is a generic term referring to any beverage that is made from a fermented grain mash. Now, there are a zillion different types of whiskey, but generally they are broken down by region. So you've got American whiskey, aka bourbon. You've got Irish whiskey. You've got Canadian whiskey. You've got Scotch whiskey. These are the main four. And within the different categories, you've got a lot of different brands. Some are higher quality than others, some taste better. You explore, figure out what you love, and find that signature whiskey. Tip number two, know how to order your whiskey. Whiskey neat is just pouring it into a glass and enjoying. Drinking your whiskey neat or up, as they say, is the way that whiskey aficionados, purists, like to enjoy their beverage. On the rocks is another option where you can have your whiskey over ice. Rocks is a great option because the ice cubes will dilute the whiskey slightly and kind of cut out that burn. And the third option is adding a little bit of spring water. This is another way to dilute the whiskey a little bit and enjoy it a bit longer. Tip number three, know your age. Now with whiskey, you get what you pay for for the most part. If you want something inexpensive, it's not gonna be very good. But the higher the quality or the longer that it is actually aged, the better the quality is going to be. If you are a bourbon drinker or a scotch drinker, you have got to try this. When I first tasted this, I was blown away. It's smooth, it's clean, it's single malt. This stuff, ridiculous. Bringing us to another point, single versus blended whiskeys. Now the single malt whiskeys are a little bit stronger. They've got more of a pop you in the face, and that's what I actually prefer. Blended whiskeys are sort of chilled out, milder, they're still strong, they're still delicious, but I personally prefer something with a little bit more bite. Tip number four is remember that whiskey is not just for special occasions. A lot of people think, oh, well, I'll just have a whiskey now or that. No, have it whenever you want. <laughs> like, not for breakfast or like every day, but when you're looking to unwind and grab a drink, think of whiskey. And last, but should be first, tip number five, which is always remember to drink responsibly. There is absolutely no reason why anybody should be putting anybody's life in danger by drinking and driving. There are too many options. You've got Ubers, you've got cabs, you've got taxis, you've got, that's the same as a cab. You've got friends, be a designated driver, walk somewhere. Gentlemen, no excuse. Prior planning prevents drunk driving is what I always say, so think your night out in advance. And if you want to check out the Bourbon Barrel Reserve by Glenfiddich, they pretty much sell it anywhere that whiskey is sold. So go, check it out, try it, you're gonna love it. Glenfiddich, you rock so hard it's ridiculous. About time. We got some adult beverages up in the Alpha M house. Gentlemen, until next time, cheers.